Hi everybody, this is Jantel here from Sweetieville and I am here with artist Frankie Amore. Um, Frankie is from Miami, Florida and she's here today in Atlanta to share some of her um, inspiration for some of our Sweetieville viewers out there. So Frankie, can you tell us a little bit about where you got your name from and what inspired you to, you know, name yourself that? Um, Frankie is short for my name, Francesca. So, you know, I grew up, everyone called me Frankie. Um, I was a little tomboy, so that's where that came from. And Amor, I just flipped love, because that's my original last name. I just flipped it to Amor. That's really cute. Um, here in Sweetieville, we're all based on, you know, pretty doesn't mean bitchy and self-love and empowerment and stuff like that. How do you feel that that pretty much reflects on you and how do you really be empowered daily in Frankie and more and being who you are as an artist and an entertainer? Well, I am definitely true to myself. You know, first and foremost, you, in order to go throughout your day, you have to be yourself. You, you have to be true to yourself. And that's one thing I stand very firm on. I'm true to myself, I'm true to my artistry and it doesn't get any better than that. You just have to be true to yourself. And how do you define Frankie Amore? Tell us what type of artist you are, what type of performer you are, and what you're really trying to exude when you go out on stage or just make a song. Um, I can definitely say, like, right now at this given moment, this moment right now, I'm being so fake and phony because I'm loud and it, um, very obnoxious. I'm <laughs> No, I really am. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. But, um, you know, I definitely, I, I am who I am. Like, I'm crazy. I'm nuts. But, you know. <laughs> well, are you um, a R&B singer, pop singer? Like, where, where do you fit in a genre? Or are you not in a genre? I never like to keep myself bottled up in side of the box like I can do it all you know as a, a real artist should say you know if you can sing you can sing anything if you can you know play the instruments if you can tap dance like it should never be just you should never try to character what is um right yeah exactly yourself and one thing but you know I love dance music I love you know Donna Summers I love that type of music that era of music um you know, I grew up listening to everyone, you know, so it's like... And who is everyone? Like, what are your main influences? Uh, rest in peace to Prince. He was one of my big influences. Like, I'm sure he was everyone's influence, but it goes deeper than music when I speak of Prince, you know? Um, my aunt used to work for him. He had a, a club in Miami on South Beach called Glam Slam. Yeah, so she worked there with him and she was doing, you know, um, secretary work and everything. And she brought me there. She brought me and my cousins there one day in the daytime. They were getting ready for a party. And she walked us in. And I, I remember this like it was yesterday. It was all red. I don't even know what club it is because I'm pretty sure I done got drunk in that club before now. But just, <laughs> just to, just, you know, just to think about it, like, we walked in and there was a step of repeat in his purple motorcycle, like just sitting there. And you know, I was like seven years old, six or seven, I was bad. So I saw that purple bike and I was like, you know what, I'm, my I'm gonna go ride this bike. I'm gonna go mess with this bike. So, you know, they caught me over there trying to kick the stands up on the bike. And I don't know where he was. He was definitely in the building because my aunt said that she got a burning sensation on the side of her um, neck. And when she looked up, he was looking at her like, if you don't get this little girl, I'm going to beat her ass. You know? <laughs> so I tell, her, I tell her to this day, why you ain't let him beat me? Why? That would have been a story to tell. I got my ass whooped by Prince. <laughs> so that was one of your first encounters. 
And ever since then, like I've been so stuck and glued on to Prince. Like, you know, I love, I love, I love Graffiti Bridge. I love Purple Rain. I love Morris Day in the Times. I love Vanity. You know, everyone that he worked with around in that era, I love it. Like the music was so pure, you know? Even down, like I said, Donna Summers, um, um, Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, like all of those people took a big toll on me as, you know, coming up. So as how an artist. does it translate into your music now? Ah, oh, you just have to see that for yourself. <laughs> Where can viewers go to listen to more of your music? Um, you know, what's your Instagram, your website, all of that? Let us know. Um, all of my social media outlets is Frankie Amore, okay. you know, spelled F-R-A-N-K-I. Amore is spelled A-M-O-U-R. And that's definitely where they can find all of my music. Um, I have a single out called Fashion Girl right now. Um, they can download that on iTunes. I saw that video. So cute. <laughs> Thank I you. It. It very um, Vogue inspired. Yes. A lot of Vogue dancing in it. Love yes. It. Rest in peace to Willie Ninja. Oh. You know, I'm a ninja. I'm part of the ninja committee. Oh, wow. So, yes, I am definitely a ninja. Okay. Shout out to my father, Yassar, Yassir Farako. <laughs> He's a ninja. That's my ninja father. But yeah, I'm very much so in that community as well. So, Well, um, like I said, Sweetieville is based on women empowerment and stuff like that. So if you could tell your young self something, what would be one of the things that you would tell yourself looking back as you are now? And, you know, just sharing that with other young women to inspire them. I would tell my young self that... I did pretty good not giving up, you know. Um, I grew up, you know, I didn't grow up with my parents, so that was for one, tough as a child, not having your mother or your father by your side. I grew up with my grandmother, she passed away, and then my cousin that I also call my mom, you know, because she raised me. I was, what, three years old? And she raised me and she did a very good job at it, you know, and I always wanted to sing, you know, I always wanted to dance and I always did that and she never stopped me from doing it, you know, and, you know, struggling without your mom and your father as a child, I, it didn't stop me either, you know, you get what I'm saying? So I definitely would tell my young self that I, I you did good and, you know, like, keep going, you know, for the younger um, kids that's trying to you know, pursue things, whatever their dreams and aspirations may be, don't give up. You can't give up, because if you give up, you never know how close you might have been, you know? So, you're very welcome. <laughs> and viewers, definitely go out and check out Frankie Amor. That's F-R-A-N-K-I-A-M-O-R. A-M-O-U-R. Perfect. Make sure you go ahead and check her out. Thanks. Hey, Sweetieville viewers, we're back again. I'm here this time with producer, songwriter, Lex Dirty. And of course, we're back again with Frankie Amore. So basically, we wanted to talk a little bit more about Frankie's upcoming project. I just wanted to kind of get some insight, some behind the scenes before it's even released. So can you tell viewers what we can expect from your upcoming project and what is it all about and you know where did you get this madhouse you know coming from well first and foremost i have to reintroduce legs dirty <laughs> <laughs> we want to say grammy award winning yes you know grand we got a grammy award winning um songwriter producer legs dirty and we're definitely working on this Madhouse of Amore project. Um, Madhouse of Amore came um, to me like I wanted to do something very different. Not so much dark, but at the time, you know, I was going through a lot of things um, in life period, like everybody else, you know, goes through things. Um, so I basically built a house in my head. You know, everything that I thought about, I stored it in my head, in the back of my head somewhere. So that's my house, my dome, that's my house. And the, you know, Madhouse of Amora is um, a reflection of me, what's going on inside of my head. So that's how I came up with Madhouse of Amora. 
So what type of tracks are on that? What type of rhythm or beats or what are we really getting from that? Or can you answer that more? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I can't put it in a box, but it's just going to be incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can musically recreate her style and her vision and her energy, that's what's going to come through the speakers, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I think it's going to be incredible. It's going to be high energy. and she's a genius so i don't think we're gonna have any problems it's gonna be a beautiful a beautiful movement well that makes me super excited um well do you have any type of release date or what you're looking towards time frame for this project never <laughs> 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 um, there definitely isn't a date yet as of right now, but we're gearing up and we should have something, you know, um, hopefully by the summer, you know, if not by the end of the summer, we're going to have something together, but we haven't yet set an actual date for this project, but trust me, the wait is worth it. Okay, definitely. So the first single, what can you tell us about that? Nothing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, nothing? Just a little, little? Just no. The first single is going to be very, very bold and different. You know, um, like I said, I'm definitely standing to character. I'm being myself and I'm very blunt. Very blunt and bold. So the single that we're going to push is very, very fun, very bold and colorful. Blunt. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to ask you, is there any type of idea when it might be, that single? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't talk. You got to know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sooner than later. Sooner you know than what I'm saying? Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to be a gumbo project, not a microwave pizza. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It takes time. It's got to steep. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, it, it'll be sooner than later. It's going to work out. Well, obviously, we see chemistry is not an issue for these two. <laughs> so, um, everyone out there, where can we learn more about each of you? We'll start with you. You can follow me on my social media. Like I said, for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything is Frankie Amore. Okay. And F-R-A-N-K-I Amore is spelled A-M-O-U-R. I'm bad with this. I got to publish this for that. <laughs> uh, my, what is it? My IG is, is <laughs> Le yeah, Lex underscore dirty, D-I-R-T-Y, mm -hmm. on Instagram. And uh, Twitter. my Twitter is Lex Dirty. And uh, HennessyDreams.com, H-E-N-N-E-S-S-Y.com is the studio, you know what I'm saying, website. So that's that. Well, perfect. Thank you, guys. We're definitely looking forward to seeing more, especially from you and the both of you. Awesome. Very